Citizen Coach's Corner presented by Aurora Bay Care Sports Medicine. We're joined by the head coach and general manager of the Green Bay Gamblers, Pat Mickish. Right now the Gamblers 1-1 one one after a pair of games this past weekend. Pat, let's look at the Madison game here at home. You guys jumped out to a really nice start. That's got to be exciting. And probably the guys were excited just to get out for games that, that mattered. Yeah, I mean, we talked about it last week. I mean, the guys were ready to play, you know, a game that's meaningful and play in front of a real crowd. So it was nice that way. And uh Got off to a good start. I thought we only really had that one little lull to start the third period, but it was a, a pretty solid game for you know that first time out. I thought Madison had a talented group of forwards, but Maxim Zukov made some big saves to really give your team the victory. Well, once we let them back in it and it got to two to two, he had to make a couple of big saves, and you know then it was a little bit of us turning that tide back around. And you know, fortunately, we got that power play in the third period and we were able to capitalize on the Dookie goal. Two guys that you're looking to make that turn from last year this year, Jason Doogie and John Leonard, both scoring in your home opener. That's got to be exciting knowing that they both had great preseason camps. Yeah, like we talked about, we needed those returning players to be ready to go, and you know they got off to a good start. They're going to be our catalysts. I mean, no matter how talented some of your new players are, it's an adjustment to this league. So it's very important that our returning players, you know, take the lead and you know take on those roles that we need them to. One of those talented players, Casey Middlestead, we had to joke a little bit about having 45 minutes of sleep coming out scoring and a goal and assist on the home opener but man that's that's quite the grind and that's part of being a hockey player in this league and, and being at this level. You know credit to Casey I mean being in Philadelphia playing in such a huge uh, environment that night and responding coming back and making two big time plays with uh, both those power play goals were uh, was great but uh, you know, it's uh, he's a special player. Uh, he likes to play the game. He shows up every every day, ready to go. So you know, we uh, look forward to having him here while we can. You guys ran into a really good goaltender actually on both nights, Madison and Chicago. But Madison's lab dev committed to Wisconsin. He made some decent saves, which made it tough for you guys as well. I think the goaltending in this league is as deep as ever. I think there's going to be uh, numerous NHL draft picks, and they're a very talented group of younger goalies. So I think we'll be talking about it kind of week in, week out about the talent level, of the goaltending in this league. But you know, Lebedev is one we're going to see a lot of. And a tough loss in Chicago on Saturday night. To me, watching the game, it looked like they are a very veteran lace group, and they know how to handle you know big games in the early part of the year. But a really tough matchup right off the hop. Yeah, and I didn't think we had a great first period, and I think if you're going to go into that environment, it was their home opener, their first game, so they definitely had some fresh legs and were ready to go. But I didn't think we you know, played as clean as we did the night before without the puck and we gave them some opportunities that, you know, we hadn't been given up in even our some of our exhibition games. So, you know, credit to them. They're a very talented group of forwards and uh, they took advantage of us. You guys played very aggressive on the penalty kill. Led to a great opportunity for Brody Stevens, potentially uh, uh, scoring on the penalty kill there with a great opportunity. opportunity. Can we continue to see that aggression on the penalty kill to try to create opportunity opportunities it, like that? Well, I think Coach Chuck really coaches, you know, both sides of it. I mean, when you can be aggressive, you got to take your chances and try to get up ice. And, and then understanding when the other team is, you know, in position to have success and that you need to just protect and maybe block some shots and and stay in the right areas so you know Cody's done a great job with the penalty kill the, the years he's had it here and been in charge of it so you know there's there's going to be times to be aggressive and times to be passive and you know he does a great job with it. You got two talented goaltenders this year you started Zukov on Friday night Renak on Saturday night can we expect the same as fans to see that split early part of the season or is there a clear-cut favorite to take that starting job no I, I we'd like to play them both they're both extremely talented I mean uh, David's result on Saturday and it was not on him I thought he had a very solid game I think maybe only the third goal he'd like to have back but uh, they're you know we want to play them both uh, they're both young goalies so I don't think either of them is in a position physically to be able to play the demanding schedule of the 60 games that this league holds any barriers with those two being import goaltenders with language or, or just getting them to learn the system here? Uh, no, they're, uh, they both speak uh, rather well. I mean, That's good. after <laughs> dealing with the, the Huska a year ago, I think we're well, well ahead of schedule <laughs> that way. So it's, uh, Perfect. you know, there's always, we want to make sure they, they're sure. clear with everything. Our, our goalie coach, Ryan Honick, does a great job when he's here of being able to work through video with them and whatnot. So it's, uh, for, for me, we just want to make sure they do understand what we are talking about and, you know, we'll slow it down as much as need be when, when having those discussions with the goalies. Perfect. Appreciate your time and uh, good luck in preparation for this upcoming weekend. All right. Thanks, Jason.